Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to discuss about Newton's forward and backward interpolation formula. Based on this, we can have a problem. Look at the question. From the following data, the half yearly premium for policies maturing at different age. Estimate the premium for policies maturing at the age 46 and 63. Age is given in X data 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 and the premium as in Y data 114.84, 96.16, 83.32, 74.48, 68.48. This is the given question. So, in this one we are supposed to use two formulas that is uh, forward as well as backward because the question is for find the premium for policies maturing at the age 46 and 63. So, 46 is nothing but the beginning of the table related value okay? and 63 is the end of the table value. We know very well that for the beginning value in the given question we are supposed to use forward interpolation. If suppose it is the end value of the table we are supposed to use the backward interpolation formula. So, here 46 and 63 in the sense we are supposed to find both forward as well as backward. So, first we will form the difference table. How to form the difference table? Given x data and y data we are writing in the column wise and using calculator we can find the difference between second element and the first one. So, likewise we can find del y, del square y, del cube y and del power 4y. In this problem it comes up to the fourth difference ok. So, using calculator we got the difference table value. When we are using the forward interpolation formula we will use all the beginning value of the difference table. When we are going for the 63 at the age of 63 in the sense we are supposed to use the backward interpolation formula. In that case we can use the last value of the table for both forward and uh, backward for both the cases we can use the same difference table values. This is the beginning value and this is the end value of the table. So, when we are using the forward we can use the beginning values. When you are using the backward we will use the last data value of the table. Okay. So, first we are going for the policy maturing at the age of 46. Okay. Maturing at the age of 46 is the beginning value of the given data. So, we are using the forward difference formula. So, the formula is y p equal to y naught plus p del y naught plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y naught plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial del cube y naught plus p into p minus 1 p minus 2 p minus 3 divided by 4 factorial del power 4 y naught. In this problem it, it comes up to del power 4. Okay, in the previous lecture we have completed only up to del square because of the difference table. Okay, so, here it comes up to del power 4. So, after completing the difference table, so after writing the formula we are going to substitute the values of y naught, del y naught, del square y naught, del cube y naught and del power 4 y naught. Before that we need to find the value of p. Here p is equal to x minus x naught by h p equal to x minus x naught by h we know the result. So, here x is nothing but it is given in the question at the age of 46. So, in the place of x we are supposed to put 46 and in the place of x naught x naught is 45. The beginning value of the x data is x naught and this is our y naught this is del y naught and this one is del square y naught and this is del cube y naught and this one is del power 4 y naught. Likewise, we are substituting all the values in the formula. Okay. So, x is equal to 46. How we are substituting x is equal to 46? Because it is given in the question maturing at the age 46. So, x is 46 minus x naught is 45. Okay. x naught is 45 and what about h? h is nothing but difference between the x data. So, in all the value of x data look at this 50 minus 45 5, 55 minus 55, 60 minus 55 because all the interval is same only. 
okay because this formula is for equal interval so h is equal to 5 in this problem so it is equal to 5 so we are getting 1 by 5 that is equal to what 0 0.2 so our p value is 0 0.2 so now we got all the values so we are going to substitute in this one so yp yp equal to okay y not y not is beginning value of y so 114.84 y not plus p p is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 into del y not del y not is beginning value of the difference table that is minus 18.68 plus p into p minus 1 so 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into del square y naught del square y naught is 5.84 okay plus next one p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 so 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 minus 1 into 0 0.2 minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into into del cube y naught del cube y naught is minus 1.84 okay plus last one p into p minus 1 p minus 2 p minus 3 whole divided by 4 factorial into del power 4 y naught del power 4 y naught is 0 0.68 here 0 0.2 minus 1 0 0.2 minus 2 0 0.2 minus 3 by 4 factor using calculator ok you have, we are supposed to use only by calculator we can calculate this one so the answer of yp is 110.52 so yp yp equal to 11. 110.52 therefore y at 46 equal to 110.5 so the next one at the age of 63 okay the p value is x minus xn by h x is 63 okay because it's given in the question at the age 63 minus xn that is the last value of x in the data so this is our xn 65 divided by h h is 5 we can get minus 0 0.4 our p value is minus 0 0.4 now the forward uh, backward formula is yp equal to yn plus p del yn plus p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial del square plus p into p plus 1 p plus 2 by 3 factorial del cube plus p into p plus 1 p plus 2 p plus 3 by 4 factorial into del power 4 y n so this is the backward formula in this one we are going to substitute all the values what is the y n value that is the backward formula so y n is nothing but the table value in the table value of y the last value this is our y n and del y n del square y n del cube y n del power 4 y n okay for backward we are supposed to write all the last value in the table ok so these are the values we are going to apply for the backward formula ok so when you are applying the backward result p value is minus 0 0.4 ok yn yn value is the last value of x data that is 68 ok so substituting the last value yn 68.48 plus p value p is minus 0 0.4 into del y n del y n is minus 6 ok minus 6 plus p into minus 0 0.4 into minus 0 0.4 plus 1 by 2 factorial into del square y n del square y n is 2.84 plus p into minus 0 0.4 into p plus 1 minus 0 0.4 plus 1 into p plus 2 minus 0 0.4 plus 2 divided by 3 factorial del cube y n del cube y n is minus 1.16 plus p into minus 0 0.4 p plus 1 minus 0 0.4 plus 1 p plus 2 minus 0 0.4 plus 2 into 
p plus 3 minus 0 0.4 plus 3 whole divided by 4 factorial into del power 4 y n ok into del power 4 y n is 0 0.68. So, using calculator we can get the final answer is 70.58 therefore y at the age of 63 ok y at the age of 63 the answer is 70.58 ok. So, in this problem we have used both the result because the question is estimate the premium for policies maturing at the age 46 and 63 for 46 we have used the forward interpolation formula for that the answer is minus uh, y at the age of 46 that is the reason why the suffix of y we have written 46 ok. So, y at the age of 46 value is 110.5 ok. So, same manner for at the age of 63 the y value is 70.58. So, at the same problem we have used both the result forward as well as backward ok. Thank you for watching.